All right, guys, welcome back to Terrier Owner for another quick episode on another topic that I see a lot of people bringing up, which is how to get these dogs to walk properly no matter what you're doing, whether it's using a leash, taking them for a run, um, walking them with the entire family. That is what this video is going to cover for you, is how to walk these little 10-pound beast right here. So stick around for just a few more minutes and we will start diving into those details next. All right, guys, let's start diving into it. But before we do, if you are new to this channel, please make sure to like subscribe and hit that little bell notification so that you get updates on when we release a new video. We do two videos a week here on everything terrier related, but most of the time it is Jack Russell Terriers. So for those of you that own a different terrier, we will get into that content eventually, but right now we are sticking to the Jack Russell Terriers and going over basically everything you need to know about how to get these dogs um, disciplined, trained, behaved, and just raising these dogs in general. Sometimes we do more fun videos and sometimes we do educational videos like this one. But we're gonna cover quite a few things. First, we're gonna cover the, your harnesses for walking these guys, your regular leashes, or these pole leashes here that extend the extra leash out. Um, collars and even we'll touch on leads here for a second so as we're diving into this here the important thing to realize about these dogs about Jack Russell's in general is that they are pretty hyper um, they are kind of hard to control whenever you first get them especially with walking um, to give you a little bit of an example let's take a quick break here and just see how my Jack Russell that's a little over one years old does with my three-year-old son trying to walk her. It's uh it's quite the show to tell you. Alright, Ro, you ready? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. We're going this way. We're going this way. Come on. You guys can go in front of me. Oh boy. Luna's a girl, bub. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Let's go take her on a walk. Make sure you hold her with two hands, okay? Tight. Yep, hold her tight with two hands. Oh, she's pulling you. Tell her not to pull you. Okay. Let's keep going. You gotta keep walking, otherwise she'll stop. This way. There she goes. Now she's being calm. Nah, not right now. Maybe. Is she being more calm for you? She's pulling you hard? Well, she'll get better at it as you do it more. It's because she's not used to you holding the leash. She doesn't seem to be pulling too hard now. She's getting used to it. A little bit. doing circles on you yeah we got to look for cars though okay. 
We're going this way. No way out. Uh oh. All right. Let's go that way. That's okay. Oh, she got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> we'll have to come back and get it. We've got to go straight. Come on. This way. Stay up here in the grass. Out for this car, okay? All right, guys, I wanted to give you a different view of my Jack Russell being walked, so I didn't want you only seeing her ripping my son down the sidewalk, so. Wanted to get a little bit of footage. This is kind of our daily routine. It is pretty early here in Illinois. It's still, it's about 3.30 in the morning. This is usually when we go on our morning walks, but this will at least give you a better idea about how much better they can get and how big of a difference it makes on who's walking them and what they've learned with their techniques as they walk. But I'll see what kind of footage I can get here in the dark and we'll go from there. So come along with us for a minute. Pretty early, huh? There you go. Like I said, I'm not sure how good the video is right now, guys, with how dark it is outside, but. She's walking at a perfect pace. I'm walking pretty slow. It's it's early in the morning. I'm still pretty tired. I usually am when I take her, but good girl. Getting her potty in here, but yeah, much, much calmer version of the dog when it's me walking her as opposed to my son there. All right, guys, the first thing I want to point out here when it comes to walking these guys is I highly, highly recommend using a harness over just a, give me a second, she's a little bit wound up here, over using just a, a collar like this and one of these leads here. The reason being is these harnesses like this guy here that just unclips, they are much easier. Okay guys, the first thing I want to point out here is that I highly, highly recommend using a harness for your Jack Russell, something similar to this guy here, um, just a small one. The reason being is that when you're using just a collar and a lead like this guy here, is you give them a lot more control to pull. I know that you can lock these, such as this one is already locked in this position here, which gives you some control and once they are disciplined it's not going to be that big of a deal but in general when you use one of these harnesses the pole when they feel that tension tighten up around their upper chest or on their back they don't tend to have that control to go every which direction on you recommend i will put a link in the description below i love this one it fits her very well it's super easy to unclip and it even has this red little safety latch here so once you clip it into place you can lock it so the sizing is always, it always kind of stays at the exact same size for their body. I mean, unless they grow <laughs> something crazy during the duration of time that elapses between a couple of walks, then you'll never have to worry about it. It'll just be ready to go for you. However, it is worthy to note that once they are trained, even if it's just a little bit of training, they're still not excellent on the leash. They're, they're just okay so to speak these work perfectly fine um, 
the video I just showed you a few minutes ago, my son walking my Jack Russell. I mean, he's not even doing that bad of a job and he's just using this and her collar. So it is definitely possible, but when you're trying to train them in the beginning, the harness is gonna help dramatically. I used the harness with a lead like this connected to it and I used clicker training um, to try and begin rewarding her for not pulling or staying in a position right next to my leg as I was walking so that she wasn't you know going into yards marking her territory things like that and you'll pick up on how they respond they're very smart dogs but they're also very stubborn so if they you know catch on to something that they want to investigate further it can be kind of a pain to get them off of that mindset so you you have to have some way to reward them whenever they're doing things correctly something that a lot of people may not recommend i don't know if it's even controversial but you can also use you know clicker or beep training which is shock collar training but you don't need to use the shock part of it um, the audible noises can do a lot to help train these dogs um, especially with the vibrate mode included in it so the vibrate and the audible part of it is not harmful to the jack russell in any way the shock on the other hand obviously hurts but that's more used for intense training or things that are very important i mean even for their safety so you, a lot of people will use the shock collars for teaching these dogs how to hunt and retrieve like bird or waterfowl and a lot of people will use them if they're using it as like an electric fence for the yard to keep them from going out into traffic if you want to use one and you don't fall into either of those two categories that's fine you just shouldn't ever be relying on the shock portion of it rely on the audible features of the collar and the vibrate mode to send your message but also communicate to your dog what that message is so if it's stop pulling during a walk and they start pulling now all of a sudden you can beep them and that could give them the warning that they need to stop doing that and then you can reward them when they do that so basically you're interrupting their mindset briefly to get them to realize they're doing something wrong you wait for them to do it correctly and then you reward them I don't really believe in harsh discipline. I, I believe in rewards for dogs. I think they respond better to it. I'm sure there are people that are the exact opposite, but in general, I think that if they realize that they can gain something, such as a treat or something that they want, or even attention, that a reward is going to go further than discipline and work the same way. With that being said, when you take your Jack Russell out for a walk, my recommendations would be to make sure that when they are doing it correctly, you have a pocket full or a little baggie of treats. You have something that you can translate that message to them that they're doing a good job. Otherwise, they're just kind of going with the flow. They're not figuring out what they're doing right, and they're just kind of either getting yelled at nonstop by you when they're doing something wrong and having no idea what you're talking about. However, when they do it correctly and they get a reward, all of a sudden they're gonna be like, oh, aha, when I don't pull into this yard, I get a treat. When I don't go bark at that vehicle or those bicyclists, I get a treat. It's something that they can really place a, a result to their behavior. They can figure it out and they are, like I said, very smart and they will. Outside of that, when it comes to walking these guys, the, one of the biggest things that you need to keep in mind is that they need it. So it's not just, I have time, I'm going to go walk them. These dogs need to burn off some of that hyper energy. Without that ability to do so, I mean, Luna, come here real quick. You wanna say hi? Come here. I suppose if we're doing a video about Jack Russell, she should probably be in the actual video. Um, but <laughs> these guys, man, they are hyper, so if if you don't get them some kind of exercise, whether that's in your backyard, um, going on a walk, going on a run, playing with your kids, whatever the case may be, they are going to find other ways to do some damage. She's dug holes. <laughs> She's a jumper. She's done just about everything you can think of during her days as a puppy, but she is getting a ton better. And that's why I'm now starting this channel is because she's at a point where every video wouldn't have to be failure videos of her just doing crazy stupid things it can be me kind of showing you the process because she's at a point where she can comprehend a little bit better and show you what she's capable of so 
yeah, keep that in mind. Exercise is huge with these guys. Get it in somehow, however you can get them active, do it. Swimming, running, whatever the case may be, needs to be done. And consistency is massive with these dogs too. I noticed that this, you know, half on, half off training did, never worked with her. But whenever I actually got consistent, it became a daily thing. It got so much easier. If you take them for a walk once, twice a day, even if it's for a few minutes, they're gonna get way better at it extremely quickly. So stick with it. Use the gear that I'm recommending. It will help the harnesses, the leashes, anything on that matter of walking the dog, it will help. She does use, I really, in all honesty, I never even have to use this thing anymore. This is a beep collar that's on her. I do keep it on just in case because you know, they do still react to certain stimulus. So if you're on a walk and, you know, there's a cross country tournament going on and 500 people run by, will she bark? Maybe. It depends on the situation, what she sees, if it's a squirrel, whatever the case may be. I like, she knows what this beep means and I prefer to use it, especially since I'm trying to teach other people how to train these guys. But yeah, consistency is key. They need to go on walks. They're awesome dogs. And, you know, the more you spend time with them, the better these guys get. Um, they're very attention and affectionate desired. So guys, that is my top tips for walking these guys correctly. Not getting pulled through the yards, not having to deal with barking nonstop. It'll get easier, stick with it. And I, I promise they'll be pretty good at it here soon, as long as you stay disciplined and stay consistent with it. Again, guys, make sure that if you are new to the channel, you like, subscribe, and hit that little notification bar. Drop a comment. Since it's a new channel, I would love to hear from you guys. If you have questions, I'm happy to help. Make sure you visit terrierowner.com. You can read the related blog post at terrierowner.com backslash walking a Jack Russell Terrier. Otherwise, we will see you next time. We publish twice a week, so keep coming back. Keep getting the information you need, and me and Luna wish you the best of luck with your new Jack Russells. Thanks for stopping by.